name is Laura Marie Rea and I'm 10 and a half. In Christmas of 2009, I went to a chalet for Christmas with my family. What happened was on the Christmas Eve, I went skiing with my dad and two of my cousins. There was a moment where Laura got out of my, my view and, and she went into an area that I wasn't familiar with as yet. When I turned the corner, um, I saw Laura and, and then when I skied up to her, I was calling for her and she wasn't responding to me. And that's not like Laura. Laura, Laura's very excited and, and she, she's always you know, wanting to tell you a story. And when she wasn't responding, I started to panic. So I basically skied into a tree, as simple as that. The injuries I had were um, tearing my bladder, I broke my femur, something happened to my eye, which now I have a bit of trouble seeing, uh, I cracked my nose, there's a healing tissue blocking my canal, and I have brain problems. We went to the Montreal Children's and when we got there, the trauma team was waiting for us. Dr. Henry from the trauma unit came to talk to me right away and said to me, she wasn't wearing a helmet right off the bat, and I said, no, she was. And he looked at me and said, okay, he goes, different conversation, he goes, let me see what we can do. And when he went into the trauma room, he didn't come back for some time. But when he did come out, he congratulated my wife and I and said that we had probably saved our daughter's life by requiring her to wear a helmet. Laura was seen by um, the speech therapist on a daily basis, um, just trying to get as much as they can. Uh, she was seen by the physiotherapist, and uh, the physiotherapist was, was, was interesting because uh, she, you know, she, would, she would really recognize the small moves that Laura would make as being positive, so it was encouraging for us. Um, she would take the time to talk to us and explain to us you know, what Laura's feeling as much as she could possibly tell us. So that was helping us as well. And also teaching us how to, you know, help Laura uh, in, in this process, you know, when, when she wasn't around, what we can do with Laura. They took a lot of time. The trauma coordinator came daily and asked questions and would also um, emphasize the importance of, of letting Laura rest. At first, you know, you worry about things as simple as Laura hadn't smiled in about 10 days or 12 days before she smiled again. Um, but she smiled after 12 days and then we worried, you know, is she going to be able to pick up where she was before? And today, Laura's doing great. I've definitely learned that I have to wear a helmet no matter when this is, and not only for skiing, biking, tobogganing, basically anything. And also, if the place you're going to or for skiing, if it's quite icy there or there are many people there, don't go skiing too fast. Just go not too slow, not too fast, right in the middle. The reality of what the helmet did for Laura hit me that very night and hit me every day since. I can't, I can't emphasize the importance of it enough. You know, when your child is bike riding up and down the street and they're just learning, it seems very simple. And then it's, oh, I'm around and I'm in a parking lot, I'm in a street that it's, it's a, it's a cul-de-sac. But the head's very precious, the head is very, very sensitive and fragile and you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I look at kids today now and if I don't see them wearing a helmet on a bicycle or if I, if I know that they're going skiing and they're arguing about uh, not wearing a helmet, I actually take the time to stop and, and, and talk to them because it was made so clear to me. The importance of the trauma center to Mary and I was unbelievable because it was explained to us early on what a trauma center does, what a trauma team does, because it's all about the people really, not about the building. And there are so many, so many facets to this group and, 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 and every facet is so incredibly important I would like to say thank you to the Montreal Children's Hospital Trauma Center and anyone who works here.